Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here, and welcome to an exceptional day for September in Alberta on my deck. Today, I want to look at a couple of products from Highwood. I said earlier I'd look at some Canadians. Uh, we're going to look at uh, Highwood Centennial Canadian Rye release. And after that, I'll take a, a quick peek at a special release. This was to commemorate the forming of the Saskatchewan Co-op in 1936, so it's a unique bottle, but it's also from Highwood. We'll catch you after the break. So thanks for for staying with me. Um, as I said, I wanted to. Uh, I, I said I think last ep episode or release that I wanted to talk about some Canadians, and uh, today I do want to follow that through. Um, so Highwood is uh, Highwood Distillery is in High River. It's in southern Alberta, below Calgary, um, kind of close to the border, I guess, in a way. But um, and they uh, they have uh, a wide product release, but I find. Uh, my comment might be that they don't kind of celebrate the identity of, of Highwood. Instead, they, they really push certain brands like 9020 is theirs, but I don't even know if you see Highwood on it anywhere. I really wish that they would celebrate, hey, uh, this is our distillery. Now, this bottle does say on the bottom, Highwood Distillery, so I do appreciate that. Anyways, let's talk a bit about this bottle I have in my hand. I was getting ahead of myself. Uh, you know, this right on the front says Canadian Rye Whiskey, but if you're new to the channel or new to Canadian Whiskey, uh, you may not know that that doesn't mean it's a rye whiskey. In Canada, legally, we can call any legal whiskey, so uh, spirit, distilled, there's certain legalities, aged a minimum of three years, uh, we can call it a rye whiskey even if there's no rye in the product. And I wrote... Um, the distillery and they're actually quite good at getting back to me and I really appreciate that so thank you very much um, but I had a bit of a conversation back and forth with their their um, I think it was their brand rep and even though this is labeled Canadian rye whiskey it uh, really is a wheat and corn whiskey that's all it is there is no rye grain in this release so um, for me, we'll come back to it, but if you haven't heard, you know, it disappoints me that we still label products uh, in a way that I think an average consumer wouldn't understand. Uh, they wouldn't understand, oh, this is after a style of whiskey. Canadian whiskey was known for rye, and so that's why we can call it rye. They would just see it and think, oh, it's rye, yeah, I've had rye. And I, and I always have to say, well, <laughs> maybe you haven't had rye. So anyways, a little bit about the bottle. This is released at 40%. It does carry an age stamp of 10 years old, Let's see what we think about the liquid itself. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. All right, let's see what it smells like. This whiskey is very sweet. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's that, you, you know, that candy floss, candy corn, sweetness, and right up front, it's a lot of confectionery sugar. And, and I find that was a little too deep for a whiskey sniff, but doesn't move far off that. I almost only get extremely light fruits, fruit cocktail, sweetness like candy corn, confectionery sugar, cotton candy, alcohol, like, like you know, that edge of ethanol, rubbing alcohol. Uh, and no spice on the nose and really no oak or wood influence. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. quite a gentle whiskey you know it um, it coats the mouth quite nice leaves a little bit of spice which I actually can appreciate but that's not what comes up first what comes up first is exactly what the nose it's sweet a uh, little bit of corn a little bit of chewiness uh, it coats and then a, a perk like oh a little spice um, but really not much and then it's gone um, it does have a little bit of astringency in the finish and a little bit of um, just a, a raw alcohol taste in the mouth. I 
but but really yeah okay a little bit of caramel vanilla okay that second sip I got a little more um, uh, a little more depth to the sugars but from the nose through the coating palette into the fairly short finish Aside from alcohol, I really think you're going to stay pretty close to that corny confectionery cotton candy sugar. A tiny bit of spice in the mouth, and then it's gone. This, for me, uh, I think probably has a wide appeal. It's incredibly affordable. Uh, you know, this 350 was 13 bucks, and you can get a full uh, 750 ml, full bottle for you know 24, 23 dollars, which you know makes it. An incredibly easy purchase. I love the label. I love that it carries a 10 year age stamp. Um, but it falls short for anyone who's a sipping whiskey. Like if you're looking to, to have something to have some character and some backbone and some oak influence, um, I'm afraid that this Centennial Canadian whiskey, I know, Canadian rye whiskey, really falls short. And for me, it just doesn't get off three stars. It's actually pretty much less than that. I actually don't find it offensive, except two things one I really struggle that it carries the rye label and there's no rye grain I find that really poor and the second it like I won't be buying this again I know I should save that for my uh, recycled reviews but it just it has no character to me so it's a very forgettable whiskey sorry for that highway you guys do some other good things this product for me isn't one of them so that was my thoughts there I'll clear my palate and then I'll talk about a special release so I was in Saskatchewan. I always try to buy local wherever I am. And I saw this bottle, and you know, it's 1936 Canadian rye whiskey. Uh, and uh, and then co-op. So I called around, oh, it's released at 45%, so more than the 40% of this. I called around and called around, and you know, it's commemorate the 80th anniversary of the Saskatoon co-op. Oh, right. I called Saskatchewan, I thought it was a Saskatchewan co-op, but it's actually the co-op just in the city of Saskatoon. I had forgotten that. <laughs> Interesting, specially selected single barrel whiskeys. Uh, I was having some dissonance there over what I know, because I did call around and call around. I was able to confirm that it's from Highwood. It does carry, you know, 45%, but it does carry an age stamp, says five years. Um, and I really like the bottle. Like, you know, it's 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 a square, but strong, and you can't really see it, but through the label, there's a picture of the prairies. And, uh, you know, I know I grew up in Alberta, but I, but I feel I identify with prairies, and I, and I really thought, oh, this will be something special. So, well, I guess I should change these around so I can tune in just now what I'm drinking. So, uh, let's talk a bit about the whiskey. This knows ethanol alcohol a little bit of magic marker and straight up sugar Let's see how it tastes that new raw distillate taste a hint of something else another dimension which makes me think that this might actually have rye in it it's got um, you know that bland sweetness lots of alcohol but then there's just a little something just something right at the end yep now it's not a oh, yeah it has a little more spice I was gonna say it's almost on the edge of nutty so maybe it's more some barley or something but no I really think I really think it's got some rye in it. I was unable to find exactly what it was, but it is pepperier, not like strongly, but it's just got a little more pepper, a little more almost a nut quality and something else going on. Now my problem with this release, I love it that it's 45, is that you cannot get past, I cannot get past the alcohol. I know it says five years, but I picked this up, I'm like, oh, it's a bottle of, of uh, young alcohol. When I drink it, I've been at a lot of uh, farmer's markets lately, and I've been sipping all these, uh, oh yeah, it's aged six months. Oh yeah, it's you know, like these really raw distillates. 
it tastes a ton like a raw distillate, even though it's carrying a five-year age stamp. So um, this one really can't get off the mat at like two stars. It was absolutely a disappointing purchase, except that I hope in some strange way it supported the co-op in Saskatoon because I really uh, appreciate co-ops and what they do across the prairies. So my thoughts today were on two Highwood Canadian whiskeys. One, Centennial. It says Canadian rye whiskey, but there's no rye in it. Maybe three stars. The other was, you know, a special release for Saskatoon in Saskatchewan. Highly unlikely you're going to pick it up. Uh, it wasn't terribly expensive. I like that it's released at 45%, but this is like a two-star whiskey for me. I, I, I really regret buying it. So, sorry, Highwood. Today, your products are not getting up off the mat. I just can't recommend them for people that are looking for a sipping whiskey. I would say this, uh, the, the, this one that's labeled rye, it, it would be okay for mixing or for people that really are looking for a soft experience. Thanks for joining me on this amazing September day for us in Alberta. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend.